All right, this is going to be a fun video. This is uh, about the RAIN RPE228 programmable equalizer. Um, I picked a few of these up recently. Thought it was interesting. It's a it's a dual band, dual two channel, 31 band parametric equalizer, totally controlled through software. Look at the back of it. Definitely intended for commercial applications. They've got these uh, Phoenix contact connectors on there for the speakers and certain remote switching capabilities that it has. You communicate communicate to the uh, computer via RS-232, which a uh, nine pin connector, which is kind of kind of oldie, but nonetheless it works really well. You set the address of the device through this switch. I have mine set to one and I'm running it on the uh, that I Windows 98 computer because this will only run on Windows 98 and Windows 95. Okay, um, one of the problems. Well, I won't say anything's a problem. They they released this using a, uh, a power supply, which is kind of hard to find anymore. It's the uh, Rain RS1 power supply. It's it's an 18 volt center tap that connects using a, uh, a telco jack like that. The one you see here is not an actual rain power supply. It's one that I had to make in order to get this one to, to go. So what I'm going to do, let me, uh, let me find my music first. There it is. All right, let's get the music going. Okay. When the device is off and there's no power to it, there's a relay that just routes the input to the output, so you, you won't have an outage. You'll notice there's no power lights on it right now, but the audio signal is going from my phone through this. Each connector is input and output, input and output. So I've got it running over here to this, to this amplifier, that's what you're hearing. power and you might have heard a little difference and you're going to see that signal is shown on channel one that's because we have audio coming through it if i were to stop that that signal light goes away indicating there's no signal and there's music again okay, back to the software part of it when you first start up the software so i'm going to put this on the tripod for a while, so bear with me for a second. Okay, it's rolling. Alright, let me stop the music. Okay, when you first start this up, you're going to have to select which device you're talking to. So you'd hit System, System Setup, and mine is communicating through the serial port on my Windows 95 machine. So I will select COM1 and hit OK. Oh, I'm sorry, also you want to make sure that it's selected for RS-232. And then you can hit Devices and select Device. Yeah, I've already ran mine and it's selected Device. Let me, uh, let me restart this. I'll show you what happens when you start it up. Okay, system, system setup, COM1, RS-232, OK, device, select. You can hit poll. And it's going to scan through all of your devices. And if you connect it properly, it's going to going to find it. Uh, I'm, I'm just letting this run to let you see how long it takes to go. And theoretically, you could have 250 equalizers on this thing, which I think is a little overkill for, well, anything, but... Okay, so you, you want to select the one that's shown with the number one next to it, because that'll be the active unit, and hit OK. Now, I've, I've already put some presets in here, 
and you'll see when I hit the buttons up top it'll shift the EQ settings. My channel 2 is not currently hooked up. Um, at the, when I was shooting this video I only had enough wiring to do one channel and that's what you'll make with these, uh, these Phoenix type connectors. You'll mount it into your system any way that you, you need it put into your system. And so let me let the music play and you'll hear Let's hit bypass. That's the signal going straight through. Take it out of bypass. Now you can obviously hear that we're equalizing because I put these really extreme settings here. You know, all all treble and no bass. And you can store up to 16 different presets. Left and right. Typical preset might be something like this. Now, what's really kind of cool about this is once you you store it by hitting store, and then you select the number of the preset you want to put it in. I'm going to put this in 14, and now it's there. So I can jump between that and what I just did. And when you shut everything down and pull the power off, those presets are all going to be stored in the equalizer. And it's going to remember uh, the default setting in the equalizer is going to be the last setting that you selected. And why you would want something like this? Well, suppose that you're an audio, I mean, some of the reasons are obvious. Suppose you're an audio professional and you've spent hours equalizing a room. And somebody comes by and decides they're going to be funny and they're going to change all your settings. Well, with a device like this, there, there's no way possible that they can alter your settings. Because once you're done, you can just pull that RS-232 cord out of there and they have no way to monkey with your settings. Which is nice. Uh, but anyway, there wasn't a lot of information about these units online, so I thought I'd, I'd go ahead and put a video. Again, that's the Rain RPE-228 programmable 31-band stereo equalizer. Woo you get to listen to me play guitar for a little while. See you, bye.